Welcome to Earth Table Body, where we create easy, natural, and healthy meals that you'll enjoy. Today, we're going to discuss roasting. I'm going to pause for a moment of silence for a standing ovation because I love roasting. That was great. Every fall, I look forward to it because it's roasting time. It's not that you can't roast in the middle of summer, but the vegetables that are harvested in fall lend themselves really well to roasting. To be enlightened, just put a sweet potato in one hand, a zucchini in the other, and feel them. You'll see the differences and also that roasting is what you want to use when preparing a sweet potato, root vegetable, or other hard squash that is available in fall. Stay tuned, we're going to roast away. Let's discuss the vegetables. We're going to start with root vegetables. The obvious ones, carrot, potato, and sweet potato. Root vegetables, that must mean they grow underground. You got it. Cousins and relatives, the parsnip, very similar to the carrot, the bitter turnip, and the not well known rutabaga. This goes great in stews and has a flavor profile similar to potatoes, but a little bit more distinct. Let's also discuss hard squashes because they're great for roasting. These differ from their summer relatives by their skin and also their hard. This is a butternut squash, nice spaghetti squash, acorn squash, and a pumpkin. Now there are several other varieties out there and all of them are acceptable for roasting and you would handle them the same way. To start roasting, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, prep your vegetables. For root vegetables, peel if necessary, like the rutabaga and the turnip, but I like to leave the skin on potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, and parsnips. After everything's peeled and washed, we'll cut it into a large dice. I prefer a large dice because the outside will get some caramelization by the time the inside is cooked. Remember, keep the cuts consistent. This will ensure even cooking, and that is very important. Next, toss the ingredients in a minimal amount of oil just enough to barely coat the vegetables. Add more if necessary, but be careful to add a small amount at a time. After vegetables are cut and tossed in oil, spread evenly on a cookie sheet or in a roasting pan. Take care not to crowd the vegetables as they will not caramelize if they are packed onto the pan. Use two pans or more if necessary. After that, sprinkle with salt and any desired seasonings or herbs and put them in the oven. It may take the vegetables up to 35 minutes to roast, depending on the number of servings and your oven, but begin checking at 25 minutes. The vegetables are done if they give when pinched or pressed with a fork. They should have some caramelization also. If not, next time you're roasting, turn your oven up about 10 more degrees and see if you get that caramelization. For hard squashes, just cut them in half and scoop out the seeds. With the exception of spaghetti squash, I split the squashes in half lengthwise. Spaghetti squash, on the other hand, I split in half, the top and the bottom. I scoop out the seeds, rub a little oil on the inside, and sprinkle with salt and desired seasonings. Put the split side down on the sheet pan and put it in the oven. Cook time can range from 25 minutes to 40 minutes, or even longer, depending on the thickness of the squash. The vegetables are done if they give when you squeeze with your thumb and index finger. Wear an oven glove for this test. Remove from the oven and allow to cool for five minutes. Scoop or scrape out of the shell, season and serve. The seasonings can be as simple as adding a bit more salt and black pepper, or get creative and add a squeeze of lemon juice with fresh parsley and some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Try different combinations. That's roasting. Now the next thing to do is go out and grab yourself some fall harvest and roast away. Now this lends itself to any type of dish. If you wanted to do a nice side dish like roasted rutabaga with fresh rosemary and some crumbled blue cheese or roasted sweet potatoes with a dash of cinnamon and some kosher salt or else a full meal preparation like fresh roasted spaghetti squash with some sauce that you just made or a roasted butternut squash soup with some fresh bread. Any way you add it up, roasting is a great seasonal preparation that lends itself to hearty meals that warm on those cold days. Well, we appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to find out more about us, go to the website. That's earthtablebody.com. While you're there, sign up for our newsletter. You can find recipes and basically keep in touch with us. 
So we'll see you next time. Till then, eat well.